Baltimore Orioles are always a welcome sight. These lovely flashes of orange and black are a welcome addition to any backyard and a welcome guest to any nectar feeder. In fact, they'll be all over them in the spring and early summer after they arrive on their spring migration. But then once we get into the depths of summer, they mysteriously disappear for a couple months only to mysteriously show up again in fall. Where'd they go? I'm Shane, this is Beaver Hill Bird Observatory, and welcome to Bird Bites. Baltimore Orioles are, of course, a very well-known nectar feeder. It comprises a very large proportion of their diet over the spring and fall migrations. Nectar is full of simple carbs, which provides them a lot of very fast energy, which they'll use whenever they're migrating or just fattening up again after a long journey. But as I mentioned before, they tend to disappear during the summer. Where they go isn't that much of a mystery. They're going to breed. They're nesting, they're raising chicks, all that good stuff. However, during this time, you'd expect their activity at feeders to intensify, not vanish entirely. They need more energy, they're feeding much more mouths, so they'd need a lot more nectar, wouldn't they? Well, no. During the breeding season, their diet actually undergoes a drastic shift. It shifts away from carbs and sugars towards proteins and insects. While they're raising chicks, the vast majority of their diet is going to be spiders and caterpillars, to the point that their populations have been documented exploding after a caterpillar infestation. But another fun thing about their biology is the thing that they're undergoing right this moment, and that is migrating. Most of the resident birds we have will migrate south of the winter, but some of them migrate much further than others. Baltimore Orioles, in fact, are some of the longest distance migrants that we have ever recorded of this particular observatory. The longest distance migrant, full stop, was a after second year Baltimore Oriole, which was captured in May 2017, and then recovered in October that same year in Colombia, nearly 6,000 kilometers away. That's full on a different continent. That journey involved going across the entire Midwestern United States, over the Great Plains, over the Gulf of Mexico, and into South America. There are definitely longer distance migrants out there, but that doesn't make the feats of the Baltimore Oriole any less impressive. And speaking of migrating, I should probably let this one get back on its journey.